from Indy's streaming news leader. This is a WRTV update. I'm WRTV's Rafael Sanchez and these are your latest headlines. Metro Police now investigating a fatal shooting on the city's east side. This on the 500 block of North Dearborn Street. Officers pronounced the man dead at the scene. Police are withholding his name until his family is notified. The next time you fly out of Indianapolis International, you'll see some new technology at TSA checkpoints. New scanners will give agents there a 3D image of what's inside your carry-on bag. With the new technology, passengers no longer need to remove their laptop from their carry-on. In fact, airport officials say you should now put all of your personal property inside of your carry-on luggage so that everything can be scanned at once with the new 3D technology. By the way, Indiana is the first state in the country to have the CT checkpoints at all airports. That's including Evansville, Fort Wayne, South Bend, and right here in the capital city. The city of Fishers once again delaying improvements on State Road 37 and 141st Street. The reason city officials say remains, rising, remains the rising costs and the inflation issue. The 141st Street interchange is the last portion of that project that needs to be completed. Fishers recently announced plans to add a new community center and more apartments there in that area. Officials will now wait until next spring to seek a bidder to complete the State Road 37 project. Time for your forecast. Cal Mounts is standing by. And Raphael, more clouds and a northeast breeze today means that temperatures will be cooler, only making it into the mid and upper 70s for a high. But that's going to make it very comfortable if you're heading out to the Indianapolis Zoo this evening. Animals and all that jazz get started at 530. We'll have temperatures in the lower 70s there. Extended forecast. We've got a chance for some rain a little more organized here as we get into our Sunday and early next week. Raphael. For more stories and weather that you need to know, please download the WRTV mobile app. Thanks for joining us.